Hi all. In this video, we will try to see how to install JFrog Artifact to open source on a Ubuntu instance. So you can download the package by scrolling down and looking into this Linux installers and select whatever is sensible for you. In this, I have downloaded an Debian package which you are seeing over here. And this Debian package is already uploaded into a Ubuntu instance. And this Ubuntu instance is something which I have created in the cloud. And this machine's size is T2 medium. So it comes with two virtual CPUs and four GB of RAM. So now let us basically log in into this machine and then try to proceed with the installation. Installation of this is quite simple. So one thing is you can look into the steps that follow this kind of package based installation or you can follow this documentation right so right now i'm going to use this as a documentation source so let me do ls so if you see i have a debian package so sudo epkj kg hyphen i jfrog Let us wait for this installation to be finished. So here we get uh, information saying that this is these are the different locations where you have uh, Artifactory and it says that right now the Artifactory is set up uh, not with a commercial database or an external database in production setups that sounds to be a decent option so what i would try to do is i'll try to store this stuff over here now the first thing which i want to do is i want to enable uh, artifactory so before i start i would enable so that during the next restarts yeah so let us enable with sudo privileges let me execute with sudo right and now i'll try to start this artifactory So Artifactory is started or not, let us try to verify the status of Artifactory. Right, so it says that Artifactory started. Now, let me go to the public IP address of this Artifactory server. And by default, Artifactory runs on 8081 port. And the default username will be admin and password. Right. Okay. Now, let me basically go with get started. So let me set password. Right. So since it is a free version, okay. So basically, you will uh, you will be getting only uh, Maven repositories, Gradle, and IV repositories, right? So you can set the base URL. So base URL can be your public IP address or a public DNS name, right? So you can do this or you can give a private IP address or a private DNS name, okay? So I'll be giving a private IP address or a private DNS name because the private is constant. So HTTP colon slash slash that's colon 8080. Next. I don't have any proxy to worry about, right? 
then it is asking what are the repositories which you are interested in i'm definitely interested in maven repository jenkins or generic repository if you want you can select the other stuff also but at this moment i am not interested that is trying to tell that it will be creating the following repositories for us i am more than happy with it that's it so this is how you create uh, the artifactory on a ubuntu instance